This sneak preview shows highlights for completing tax forms in the Oracle R12 version of HR Self Service. Within HR Self Service, you as an employee have the capability to set up or change your tax withholdings. From the navigator window, click the plus symbol to expand the HR Self Service folder. Click the plus symbol next to the My Information folder to open that subfolder. Select My Tax Forms. Use these pages to view or modify your tax withholding information. First, we will look at federal withholding. By default, every employee's federal W-4 is set up as single, with no allowances or additional funds withheld. If the federal W-4 default is not accurate or you would like to make changes, click the Update button to make changes automatically in the system. In the Update Tax Form Federal W-4 Form Oracle window, make the appropriate changes in the provided sections. You must agree to the changes noted above, just as you would by signing a paper-based form. Click the I Agree checkbox and then click Continue. Your changes cannot be submitted without agreeing to the terms. By clicking Continue, Adobe Reader opens, displaying the tax form with the new selections. Use the View Controls to zoom into the document and review the changes. These are the changes that will be submitted. If the changes are not correct, click the Back button to make modifications. Otherwise, click Submit. Your changes are applied to the system. Click the Return to Overview button to see the Tax Form window again. Although changes cannot be made in the system for New York State withholding, there is a fillable form on which you can complete the form electronically or by hand. The completed and printed form must be turned into your HR or payroll office for the changes to take effect. Now let's take a brief look at setting up your direct deposit and distributing funds to multiple accounts. Again, from the HR Self Service My Information folder, you can set up direct deposit yourself. Select My Pay Methods. Until you set up direct deposit, you will be paid by paper check. Click Add Deposit Payment. Enter the required information to establish direct deposit to a specific account. If you would like to distribute your deposit to different accounts, you click the Add Another button. Notice the confirmation message appearing at the top of the window, acknowledging system acceptance of your direct deposit. As you can see, you need to add the information for an additional distribution for your direct deposit. You can specify an amount in dollars or a percentage of the full deposit to go into this alternate account. Click Cancel to exit this window. Your established direct deposit is listed in the table. If you had entered an additional deposit distribution, a second row would appear as Priority 2 in this window. Watch for full demonstrations of these self-service functions on the RF YouTube channel starting in October.